In my opinion, I think it's because people lied about who they were voting for in the polling. Maybe they know people who would be hurt by their decision, but ultimately they were being selfish and decided to do what was best for them. Due to a lot of how the media portrayed Trump, um, he was always depicted as a sort of joke entertainment type of thing and he wasn't really taken seriously and I think that really had a lot to do with it. I definitely think that um, there is something wrong definitely with the system. A majority of Americans voted to elect your president but it was still pretty razor thin in terms of the margin. It was a very close margin. I mean I don't think that the electoral vote is the proper method that we should be going with. The Comey release of a fur news of a further investigation into emails found on her aide Huma Abedin's server, of course shared with former Congressman uh, Anthony Weiner, that obviously had an impact in the final days and perhaps dampened the enthusiasm among exactly the demographics that I just mentioned that failed to turn out in force. First, uh, our response rates in polls tend to be very, very low. The second thing is that the coverage, the kinds of people who answer these uh, surveys um, may not be the kinds of people who actually vote in an, uh, in an election. Now it is thought that Mr. Trump was able to mobilize a lot of uh, less affluent and less well-educated white people. And finally, when analyzing the data, uh, pollsters have quite a lot of discretion about how they're going to cut off beyond which they predict that somebody's not going to vote at all. Uh, the anger that uh, middle America and the South feels about uh, Hillary Clinton and the establishment, even of the establishment of the Republican Party, is in part a sense of desperation that America is changing economically and more importantly for them, demographically. I think one of the reasons that they voted for Mr. Trump may be the most important reason is that he represents their sort of last ditch effort to make America great again, which is a kind of code, code word for um, basically halting demographic change in the United States, limiting immigration and kind of holding the line on, uh, on sort of traditional American values.